Ann Chibi is now a dating show veteran, so we thought we would get her take on another popular show, uh, the HBO Max show, Naked <laughs> Attraction. Have you heard about this show, Guillermo? Yeah. This is a dating show. <laughs> The contestants pick out who they want to date based on their private parts. They show the... We thought it would be fun to have Aunt Chippy review it. She loves this kind of thing, so... Now, obviously, we had to blur out the dirty parts for our TV show, but for Aunt Chippy, we made sure she saw every uncensored inch. So, are we all good to go? Aunt Chippy, you ready? I'm ready! I'm ready! All right, here we go. Ready to go? Yeah. All right. Can we please reveal the bottom half of the bodies? Are they naked? It's almost as if you don't see six penises every day. Oh, for <laughs> sake, you've got to be kidding me. I'm not going to watch this. <laughs> this is bullshit. I don't need to see their penises. You brought me from Vegas here to see somebody's penis? <laughs> To be honest, a lot of penises. I'm unimpressed. It gets better. It does. Oh, it does? It gets better? What do we do? See the hair under their arms? What else? Do they show the crack in their ass? What else is that? Nothing is sacred anymore. Nothing. Where to start, Ina? <laughs> there is an elephant in the room. <laughs> she has to judge on their, by their penises? Holy <laughs> sh**. Wow, that took a lot of brains to think of something like that. How many animals have the trunk of a penis? Gee, don't we all want one? She's gonna date one of these guys at the end. Who should she get rid of? She should get rid of all of them and keep the guy on the right. That's the guy that's got the best physique. He's good looking. What about his penis? I don't, I'm don't. not judging him by his penis. It's a penis. It's like a vagina. Not exactly. Oh, for crying out loud, this is ridiculous. You are about to meet them for the first time, but not before they get to see you naked and tell you what they think about your body. And are you a fan of it like a sort of fuller bush? Um, I don't have any presence if it's too full on. What if one of your kids did was on this show? If one of my kids? I'd smack the out of them and leave them for dead. We talked a lot about penises. What about balls? <laughs> what the hell am I doing here? I want to go home. Not yet, not yet. Not yet, my ass. We have to get through the episode. Get through what? What else is there? Ah. Uh, it looks like a moose. Would you consider being on a show like this? If you ever try it, I will cut your penis off and shove it up your ass. That's what I would do with yours if you put me on a show like this. Ever. Ever. That's pretty aggressive. Yes, I'd be very aggressive. And then, you know what? I would take your boss, Jimmy Kimmel, and sit, sit next to you, do the same thing to him. Well, there's one more. Oh, great! What we needed was one more! One more what? I've seen everything! I've seen tits, asses, balls, breasts. What else is there? I... Does Jimmy know I'm watching this stuff? He does that little bastard. Wait till I get a hold of him. I want to go see that guy right now. Uh, he's not here. Oh, all of a sudden, he's not here. Oh. Gee, all of a sudden, Jimmy is no longer in the building. You've been out of work for five months. Where are you? Very, great job, man, Jimmy. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you think next week. Ta -da -da.